All right, guys, what could be bad here? I've been playing this game, you know, I think it's called Hogwarts Legacy. Look, I don't care about the drama. People can buy games while they want to buy games. I don't care. I like the movies, never read the books. So the reason I'm even playing this is my coworker pre-ordered the game. So when it went live on Twitch, uh, we put it up on Twitch for two days on our work computers. It looked fun and interesting. So I pre-ordered it. Here's what I think. Master has given Dobby a shock. What? I didn't... Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. So we know there's frame rate issues on PC right now. I'm playing on console, specifically Series X, locked at 1080p 120. That is what my rig here is set at, so that's what I'm playing on. Uh, there has been one visual bug with Professor Fig that is has been confirmed with three other console players, one on PS5. Other than that, I have seen some slowdown going through certain doors inside of Hogwarts. Uh, you'll get the little swirly marks when you go through the doors instead of just going through them. That's happened to me twice. Uh, one of my other friends on Xbox, that's happened once. I think it's all depending. My settings are set for fidelity. They're not set for maximum frame rate. I don't think you need to be maximum frame rate on this game, but if it is an issue with you, I would set it to maximum frame rate. So if you like what you're hearing, please drop a like, a sub, comment down below what you think of the whole review. And we do a little podcast on here Sundays at 3 p.m. where we talk about pop culture news, gaming news, etc. Anything that's hot and going on. Uh, stop by and say hi. It does feel like it holds hands a little bit. It feels like, and you feel like you need to use Revealo all the time since XP comes from challenges and quests, finding book pages, opening chests, stuff like that. I really feel like it should also come from defeating enemies. I'm fine with the first part, but I would like to see some of the second part. That is one of my main griefs with this game. So the camera, look, it's janky. It's janky to begin with. You have to go on the controls and tweak it. And it's still not ideal in some situations, but it's much better than what you get out of the box. That's probably been my main complaint about the whole game is the camera will go beyond objects and you lose your character. Uh, it felt slow at times, but I had to adjust it. Once I've adjusted it, I probably can play with it a little bit more and get it better. You definitely need to adjust the controls for the camera in this game. Combat's a little different. On controller, you have to use R1 for your basic attack, which is what you're going to use a lot. But you also have to hold that button down and use your X, B, A, and Y buttons, or whatever it is on Sony, to actually do the larger spell attacks, such as Levioso and stuff like that. And you're going to need those because combos are key in fighting in this game. It kind of it's kind of got a Dark Souls feel to it with the dodge rolls. Uh, and using your protection with stupefy it it's really intense and once you get it down it's really easy the first couple of times you do a duel you're you're going to have a little bit of a hard time but they make you practice with combos and give you setups and scenarios like i said hold your hand a little bit but it does help in that aspect all right so immersion it's cool for the most part you're running around hogwarts man uh i've been to universal and been there it, it's kind of cool and the problem is when you don't have all the fast travel unlocked and you're trying to get from one location to the other for each quest it feels like you're running across an entire city to get somewhere and i understand that hogwarts is big but it just gets tiring in the beginning uh it feels like it slows the pace of the game down and it kind of pulls you out uh i have been sitting here look over and do something and i'm like oh i'm running into a wall it does do that, but once you get all the fast travels down and you start exploring new new places, it's pretty cool. So questing. Questing. It's so easy to get lost in this game as far as quests go. You could probably stay inside of Hogwarts for the entire time I played the game and not have every quest done inside of Hogwarts. It's insane the amount of quests that they offer. I played mainly storyline. I wanted to progress this and level up and get to where I need to be so that I can do a review on this. Even though it feels like half of the quest in Hogwarts is going to be exploring and doing things 
like that, you're not going to get the combat. I really wanted to see how the combat played. That's what drew my attention when I watched other people play it on Twitch. I do have a feeling that completionists are going to be here for a long, long time. There is so much to do in this game. And so far, it's fun. I've been avoiding the side quests and just doing the plot line. And I probably next time I play, I'm probably just going to do side quests because I think I've progressed the story to a good portion. And by that good portion, I don't think I'm even a quarter of the way through the game, but I think I'm leveled up enough that I can go and play with other stuff. I made it to level 11 in about five, six hours. And other stuff going on inside the house, doing other things. And I was sticking mostly to the plot line. There are a bunch of people posting the, the, the entire spoiler to the plot line on social media. If you wish to be spoiler free, avoid posts on this. This will be spoiler free for 99% of it. I'm probably not giving anything major up. So the other way to level up is your gear. So it's basic green, purple, the orange goldish sets. It sets up defensive powers and offensive powers and you can get traits. I just unlocked traits. I haven't got to play with them, but it looks like you'll be able to like do more damage and take less damage from certain enemy types based on what traits you put on. I haven't looked to see how you do it. I just unlocked it. All this gear, 99% of this gear you're getting is getting from random world chests. Uh, I did do a dungeon earlier. I would call it a dungeon in my experience. It's part of the storyline, but there were chests there. I did get a little bit better stuff than I normally would. Uh, I was also conversing with a friend. He was a level ahead of me. We had we had pretty much very balanced stats. So it seems like RNG is not going to hurt you at this. It's going to keep you at a certain level. We all hate the RNG gods. So the story, I'm not going to spoil it. But I kind of think I know where it's going to go. And I don't like that. Um, I prefer storylines where I don't see it coming. And then once it comes, you're like, I should have seen that the whole time because all these other things link up kind of like fight club and stuff like that. While I don't think the story is a JK level, uh, I am enjoying it and I am wanting to see what's next. I think it's interesting. It's a, it's a different take and you can have different takes. I feel like being set in 1890s, it's far enough out not to mess with the canon of the movie. And I think it has room to grow. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that when you first come to Hogwarts, they're like, oh, no Quidditch this season. We're like, like, I know people that are not playing this because it doesn't have Quidditch. I would like to see them add that. And I can see possible DLC to go along with this at this point. We'll find out. They do have a store. It is not up yet. You cannot buy anything. Uh, there is nothing for sale. And I'm sure it's probably going to be all cosmetics. Overall, I give this game a 9 out of 10. It's fun to play. It's not broken out of the box. There's a couple small issues. I'm sure a bug fix will fix the frame rate issues for PC. And I'm sure it'll fix the visual bug with uh, Professor Fig. I would like to see it where if an object passes between you and your character, your character didn't disappear because of that object. That object should become translucent. Or if the camera passes outside of a wall the wall should become translucent in some way so you can see what's attacking your character. That's been my biggest gripe in my playthrough. But other than that, I think it's a solid game. Don't take the, the crap online. Just play the game. If you're a gamer, play a game. I'm a gamer. I just want to play the game. Once again, I'm Wookie Be Bad. You have a nice day.